The seven classifications of sutra titles. In order to clarify their content, sutra titles are divided into seven types by their reference to person, dharma, and analogy. 1. Single 3. Three of the seven titles are established by reference to either person, dharma, or analogy. A. The Buddha speaks of Amitabha Sutra refers only to people. Shakyamuni Buddha and Amitabha Buddha are both people who cultivated and became Buddhas. B. The Great Parinirvana Sutra is an example of a title classified by reference to a dharma. Nirvana is the dharma of non-production and non-extinction. C. The Net of Brahma Sutra is a title established only by reference to analogy, the analogy of the net of the great Brahma king. The net in the Brahma heaven has many holes in it, like a fish net, and there is a gem in every hole. Each gem radiates more brilliantly than an electric light, reflected through the interstices of the net. They interillumine, without conflict. One light, for example, would never say to another, I hate your light, lamp. It's terrible. I'm the only one who can shine around here. Lamps don't fight with each other like people. The net of Brahma is an analogy for the precepts. Each precept is like a gem, and those who have left home are one of the three jewels because they keep the precepts purely. Members of the Sangha cultivate to have no improper thoughts concerning their environment. Thus they transcend the material world attain purity, and shine like gems in the net of Brahma. Two, double three. Titles established by reference to a combination of either person and dharma, person and analogy, or dharma and analogy are called, double three. D. The Sutra of Questions of Manjushri 10 is a title established by reference to a person, the greatly wise Bodhisattva Manjushri, and the Dharma he requested. Prajna. Only the most intelligent Bodhisattva knew to ask about the meaning of Prajna. One of great wisdom requesting the Dharma of great wisdom classifies the Sutra title according to person and Dharma. E. The Lion Roar of the Thus Come One Sutra is a title established by reference to a person, the Thus Come One, and an analogy, the Lion Roar. The Buddha speaks Dharma like the lion roars, and when the king of beasts roars, the wild beasts tremble. So, in his song of certifying to the way, the great master Young Chia wrote, The roar of the lion is the fearless speaking. When the wild beasts hear it, their heads split wide open. Elephants run wild and lose their decorum. But gods and dragons, in silence, hear it with delight. The Buddha speaks the Dharma like the fearless lion roars. When the lion roars, the other animals are frozen with fright. Elephants are usually quite sedate, but they lose their powerful authoritarian stance. Gods, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division, however, are delighted. F. The Wonderful Dharma Lotus Blossom Sutra is an example of a title established by reference to a dharma and an analogy. Since the Wonderful Dharma is analogous to a lotus flower. 3. Complete in 1. The seventh classification contains references to all three subjects, person, dharma, and analogy. G. The Great Means Expansive Buddha Flower Adornment Sutra. In this sutra, great, means, and expansive refer to the wonderful dharma of realizing Buddhahood. Flower adornment is an analogy the causal flowers of the 10,000 conducts are used to adorn the supreme virtue of the fruit.